they're partiers. Okay. Not that you guys aren't. You just have a, you're just punctual. Senator Amy Klobuchar joking with New Hampshire convention delegates that they are better at early mornings than their Nevada counterparts after a late night Monday with President Joe Biden at the United Center. In a one on one interview, Klobuchar told News 9 she thinks Vice President Kamala Harris has what it takes to break the glass ceiling at the White House. This time it's different. Uh, this time we've seen for years the attacks on women when they're running, attacks on their laughs, attacks on their clothes, and this time they're turning it back on them. And a lot of it's on the internet, and I have just loved how they went after Kamala Harris on coconut trees, now we see coconut tree memes. Uh, they went after after a laugh, and now it's mashed up to Beyonce songs. Um, it is a changed situation right now. Congressman Ro Khanna also checked in with his Granite State friends, telling News 9 he's a fan of Harris's grocery price gouging ban that has come under fire from Republicans. It's not price controls. I think what Vice President Harris said is that she wants to make sure that people aren't taking advantage of the concentration of power. Longtime Democrats like DNC committeeman Billy Shaheen say the focus on the working class is key. They deserve a raise. They deserve to get better pay. They deserve to be able to live in a country where one wage earner can you can live with your family and enjoy your family like it used to be when I was young. And the list of 2020 Democratic presidential candidates checking in with their Granite State friends will add another name tomorrow as Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey is expected to speak at the delegation breakfast. Steve. And I'm certainly interesting to see all the big names that they're getting from New Hampshire. So you've been talking one on one with these visitors to the delegation. Uh, what are they saying when it comes to first the nation primary the status within the party, especially for the Democrats? It's interesting for a lot of these VIPs, uh, the only one who's gone there so far is Congressman Rokana. He said absolutely he thinks New Hampshire is going to officially have the primary, uh, the first primary back from the DNC. Some of these other folks are a little bit more cagey about it, but what they have said consistently is that New Hampshire Democrats in this last process with the write in for Biden campaign, they say that they impressed some key people, high levels of the party, and that bodes well for the future, Steve.